What's up guys, I'm Jacob, tech support supervisor from Fuel Tech USA. Today we're gonna to be talking about wiring up and testing your trans brake and staging control functions. First thing first, if you're gonna be running your trans brake through a relay, it has to be a solid state relay. It can't be a mechanical relay, something that clicks, something with moving parts. It does make it a little harder to test. It doesn't click, it doesn't light up, something like that. But this is gonna be the only way to go if you want any kind of consistency as far as cutting a light, letting go of the button, the car does the same thing every time. Some guys don't wanna deal with a relay for the trans brake. They will run power straight through the button. And you can grab an ECU input on the other side where it goes to the trans brake. But if you don't wire in a diode, something like that in line, it's gonna eventually kill the ECU input. And then we also can't use any of our delay or kind of safety features to say, let's say I accidentally hit this thing going down the track. It won't turn the trans brake on again if it's wired through a relay. In the link below, we have the diagram that we give out with this relay. It tells you how to wire it to your staging output, but it can be kind of confusing. You don't know if it's left, right, upside down, sideways, something like that. And it's easy to get mixed up. We get a lot of calls on it every week and it's something simple like that. So we're gonna go right to that. All right, right here, quick and easy. This is what you guys probably came here for. Look, this is the three pins we use on this relay. This side here, we do not use it. If you have it over here, get something, get a small tool out, something like that, go ahead and depin that bad boy. It's not gonna work if you ground activate it, 12 volt activate it, whatever. This relay has to have ground on this pin to work, period. All right, just to show a little more detail here, our front pin of the relay is just switch power, something with power. This side of it, in particular, is ground activated by the ECU. The other wire, just loose hanging out of the back here, this is what goes to your trans brake, gives it power. You can use any ECU output you have available. If you use a yellow output, you either have to have a diode in line so it doesn't backfeed, or the power feeding it has to turn off the same time your ECU does. If not, you turn the ECU off, it will backfeed through the yellow and keep the ECU turned on. That's why usually I try to stick to a blue or a gray output because you're gonna avoid any backfeeding, any confusion later. Today, just for demonstration, we're gonna use one of our bullet valves from the dual valve boost controller. This obviously isn't a trans brake solenoid, but it does light up, it does make sound, and we had one laying around. So what we're gonna do is use our open power wire on this relay that's gonna go to the trans brake. We're just gonna use a couple splice connectors today just to make it quick and easy for the video. This is not the normal way you would wire this in a car, obviously. Anything on a race car should have a connector. You don't wanna hardwire anything. You never know when you have to service the car, replace a part, something like that. And it's never fun cutting wires, recrimping, stuff like that. You would ideally do it right the first time, throw a connector on it. So that's our power side that is gonna have power. We are gonna have ground next to it. We're gonna put a piece of tape just for safety. The ground side, like any solenoid, is gonna to go to a chassis ground, not a sensor ground. Now our trans brake relay has the power, has the ground wired up. Now we have to run the ECU output to the ECU. I'm gonna be using our Pro 600 IGM-1A map. It does have blue output number 10 open. So we're gonna use that. We'll go in the software here. Scroll down to our outputs. Blue output number 10. We'll just name that trans brake solenoid. Write that to the ECU. All right, now with the relay connected, we can go to our output screen where we just assigned a trans brake solenoid, the little lightning bolt beside it, we can test it. You can do that with any of your outputs on a fuel tech. There we go, little guy lights up. So that's some pretty basic functionality. It's not pulsing, we're not trying to stage a car or anything like that, but we do know we're on the right output, so now we're gonna go on to wiring up the buttons. 
This is your regular big trans brake button. Staging button over here, generally used by the turbo guys. Nitrous and blower guys, they do still benefit from running it through the ECU because you can add delay, you can add in protection, so something bad doesn't happen when you hit this going on the track later. Wiring for the buttons, super easy, super simple. I did extend this thing. This is normally our display thing we use at the trailer. One white wire goes to one button. One white wire goes to the other button. They both share a ground. As long as either of them go to ground, or you can use 12 volt if you set it up in the ECU right. As long as either one goes to ground, the ECU knows, oh, turn the trans brake on. All right, so hopping back on the laptop, we're gonna scroll up to inputs. We have pin eight and pin nine as open. The extra pin C, extra pin D, that's how it would be if you use a Pro 600 harness. We're gonna use pin C, that's white number eight for the two-step wire. That's what's gonna tell the trans brake to turn on. Pin nine, that will be our extra little button over there. That's the staging button. Okay, we'll assign those. Write it to the ECU. I'm gonna plug these back into my ECU connector on pin eight and nine, and we're gonna test these buttons out. So now that we've assigned that input, we're gonna scroll up to diagnostic panel. We're gonna hit our buttons, make sure they're working like we think. Let's hit the two-step trans brake button. Shows on. Now we're gonna hit the staging button. Shows it's on. but it's not lighting the trans brake. We get a lot of calls on this every week. Why does my two-step button work? My trans brake doesn't work. We have to go to map options. Make sure you have staging control slash trans brake enabled. Whether you're a turbo car, blower car, nitrous car, whatever, you have to have that on for the trans brake to function. Now we're gonna go back to the wheel part of things. Make sure our trans brake, make sure our staging button are working correctly. Let's we'll see if this thing lights up, okay. Trans brake, it's lit up solid. Hold the staging button. You see it, you hear it pulsing, that thing's moving on the table. So now we have it tested before you guys even make a pass, even start the car. We know the trans brake's gonna function correctly. Uh, just something else to touch on real quick, real briefly, you can do a brake pressure control. So you always stage with the same brake pressure. It helps with kind of the rocking of the car, stuff like that. It will wire up the same way this did, except the output side goes to a line lock solenoid. So there we have it. That should be pretty simple, pretty foolproof way of wiring the trans brake relay hitting either button, testing them, stuff like that. And if you guys liked what you saw today, don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you've got any more questions you want us to answer, leave a comment below and we'll get to those in a later video. Without a doubt, if you guys have something weird, something oddball, something you're trying to get figured out, can't get figured out, feel free to reach out to me or any of the other tech support guys, either phone, email, however you get a hold to us. As always, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you at the track.